a new one right here another one right here and here and here it is definitely quite lightweight you guys ordinary is you causing me to break out i do not like that hi guys today i will be trying out the ordinary's natural moisturizing factors plus ha for one entire week and honestly see how well it moisturizes my skin after the seven days are over guys so before you try this out for the first time i first want to show you what my skin is looking like to see if there's gonna be any improvement throughout this week so i don't know if you can tell but my skin barrier is definitely damaged i have redness on the cheekbones i also have a lot of bitchiness right here on the chin on the jaw and also especially get ready for this on the neck it is super red and irritated also right here and on top of that i also am experiencing the usual pimples right here as well as a little bit of blackheads on the nose as you can tell so i'm really curious to see if this is actually going to cause even more breakouts and clogged pores and blackheads i'm curious to see the smell and the consistency it is definitely quite lightweight you guys and the smell guys a little bit of plastic like melted plastic of some sort it is not pleasant but it's not overpowering now one thing that i I'm liking is that this is extremely spreadable like literally one piece size amount i got it spread to this whole entire half of the face and also it is so lightweight i can imagine it really good as a morning moisturizer which is where i'm applying it right now but honestly guys first impressions i'm definitely very pleased with this guys so it's day two but before we go any further with this experiment i first want to read the ingredient list with you guys so to see if there's gonna be any bad ingredients in this but to be honest it's the ordinary so i expect nothing but top notch first off i see propendiol which is basically a glycol that is supposed to help active ingredients penetrate deeper into your skin so in this case it will be the amino acids in this moisturizer then there's also glycerin which is basically a humectant that it's supposed to hydrate and moisturize your skin very common in moisturizers nothing new then there's also sodium hyaluronate you guys this is hyaluronic acid i love it if you watch my videos just so much so that i literally inject it in my face in the forms of filler but it's basically supposed to plump up your skin and moisturize it it actually holds 1000 times its weight in water Water. Oh my god, and then there's also arginine. This is basically an antioxidant which is supposed to help us protect from free radicals So basically what breaks down our collagen as well as boosting the production of new collagen So here they are the amino acids start right now. So they're quite high in the ingredient list. That's very good So first off there's aspartic acid, which is basically an antioxidant and it's supposed to replenish the skin and moisturize it And there is glycine aline, which is basically supposed to balance the moisture levels in the skin So it's basically skin hydrating I'm not gonna tell you what all of these does because there's no point. Just know that they're all amazing for the skin. Some of them you have to know that not even our body can produce and so we have to supplement them through our diet and also skincare ingredients like this. So when applied to the skin, it is so, so super amazing. There's also sodium chloride, which is basically salt and it's a little bit exfoliating as well as citric acid, which is basically derived from lemons and that's it. It's an AHA, so it's supposed to exfoliate your skin a little bit, but it's quite down in the ingredients. List, so I'm not gonna do much. Oh my god, I'm scanning it through and I don't see anything bad at all. You guys, I'm super amazed. This ingredient list is amazing, brilliant, talented, never seen before, show stopping. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before. You guys, to be honest, now I really have super high, extremely high expectations for this moisturizer. Guys, so it's day four. Now I'm not even on the stage of the moisturizer quite yet. I still have to put my serum on however i wanted to show you that i'm going through a little bit of a breakout as you can see i have one pimple that is popping up right here a new one right here another one right here and here and here the ordinary is you causing me to break out i do not like that however guys i'm showing you now because i'm actually gonna pop them i know i'm not supposed to don't look at me don't look at me like that but i wanna okay however i got it on camera proof and we all know that if you don't vlog it if you don't take a picture it is as if it never happened Did did you really eat that pizza if you didn't post it on Instagram? Did you? No, you didn't. Did you go to Greece if we don't have a full entire photo shoot of you in Greece? I don't think so, Karen. Guys, it's going very well. The redness on the Nikiana, as you can see, it has definitely been reduced. I mean, it is still a little bit here, but it's definitely going down. It is not causing me to get new blackheads necessarily. And yes, a little few pimples have popped up, but I feel like it's not because of this. On top of that, it's just hydrating my skin skin so well. <laughs> Sarah v, I'm just so sorry. It's not you. It's me. Um, I love you. I'm just not in love with you. I just really need time to work on myself. 
I think we should start seeing other people. Uh, furthermore, you deserve someone better than me, and we're just on two different paths right now. Um, just one second here. Um, I just don't feel the spark anymore. Like, I feel like we're just lost it somehow. We're better off as friends. I can't be a part of a two if I'm not a full one. I'm too young to be tied down. Furthermore, I don't really see a future together. And lastly, Sarah v, um, if you love something, let it go. And if it comes back to you, let it go once again. So, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to to break up with you. No, 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 of course. I'm not cheating on you. There is nobody else here. God, he is just like every other man. Well, even though technically I don't consider myself a man, but still, biologically, I am. I lied. Of course, I have another side piece, another side hoe, and that is going to be the ordinary natural moisturizing factors. She is giving me what Sarah V is not giving me any more. Let me start my final thoughts and results by saying I wish I would have got the bigger bottle of this because this is simply not enough. So guys, of course, before you'll jump on me and call me a cheating, lying biatch, I, which I mean, I kind of agree, I feel as though I should tell you why I decided to cheat on Sarah V and go with this. So of course, not only you can see that she has an amazing body, her curves are just so bootylicious and juicy, but on top of that, she has has an amazing personality and that is hard to come across even in skincare. Let's start with the consistency and the formula. You guys, the ingredient list is something like I've never seen before in a moisturizer because of the amino acids. Like, as I told you in the vlogs, they're so beneficial to have and some we even have to supplement with skincare or our diets because our body doesn't produce them naturally. So it's really important to have them, especially for skin health, when you apply them on your skin. So, I mean, yes, this does have ceramides, which are also very much important. So I feel like maybe you could use them together, but you know, in life, you can't have two women, two men. You have to stick with one. Unless you are a Mormon. Is that the name of it? Furthermore, not only is the ingredient list amazing, truly there is not one ingredient that I don't like. Second of all, the consistency is once again amazing because you could not see it from the vlogs, but let me tell you, I do love a bit of glow. Let me say that. I am the glow slash grease queen. No, here on YouTube and on every social media app. TikTok and Instagram both at my random. But truly, this gives me an extreme glow like sometimes it can be a little bit overpowering I don't want to look like a disco ball at all times of day This gives me a little bit more of a matte look which I really like It is also has a consistency that is a lot more thicker than the CeraVe one or other moisturizers that I really like And speaking of how thick it is y'all know that something that I look for in a man and in my moisturizers is thickness Some other moisturizers that are of this thickness can be a little bit clumpy especially if I apply them straight after my serums, which I usually do because, you know, who got the time to wait in between? Unless you're like me and you don't have a job, but, but truly most of normal people don't have the time. Well, I don't really see myself as working. I think ideally for me, a best fit would to be like a top of the line trophy wife. And so truly they need a moisturizer that doesn't clump up with their serums and this is going to be it. Now another important thing is that of course you can never find your soulmate that is going to make you a happy 100%. There's actually a saying that is going to be find someone that makes you 80% happy and the other 20 you can supplement through something else. I don't feel like it was through cheating but surely by drugs or alcohol or plastic surgery. <laughs> This is not the point. The point is that the 20% of things that I don't like about this is that I'm not gonna put my finger on it, but quote me, but at the same time don't, is that it might have made me break out that little. And if you can tell, let me just get closer to the camera so y'all can see. Can you see? Hold it. Okay, hold that, perfect. 
But apart from that, everything else is amazing. So y'all know that I like to have a logical train of thought. So linking to the point that it breaks me out, let me move to who is it going to be best for and what skin types can use it and how to implement it in your skin routine. So of course, if you have oily, acne prone skin like I do, definitely pay attention. Then I also know some people that do not like this because it does break them out. But I mean, I'm not saying don't buy it. I'm just saying buy it, but maybe buy the small bottle first to see if it breaks you out. And then if you like it, like I'm liking it, then go ahead and go buy the bigger one. Because truly, it, you're not going to know if something is going to break you out unless you try it. Like not even by looking at a review from me or other YouTubers of skincare. You're not going to know until you buy it and try it for yourself because skincare is so personal just like sex. Unless you put it online and create an OnlyFans and that is what I'm doing. I'm creating a YouTube channel of my skincare. So basically in a way I'm like a porn star. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. <laughs> <laughs> but still, basically, even if you're acne prone, yes, do try it. If you have oily skin, yes, this is quite thick, but let me tell you something. It is not as thick as you think. Don't be scared of thick moisturizers unless they contain maybe a lot of dimethicones because those are, in theory, going to break you out or shea butters or whatever. But truly, something like this, at least from the ingredient list, it shouldn't. Dry skin types, normal skin types, sensitive skin types, do I even have to say this? It is going to be amazing for that. Especially my sensitive skin and dry skin type. It's dry because your skin is not able to retain moisture because the skin barrier is actually damaged. So something like the CeraVe which contains ceramide in it or something like this which contains amino acids in them, they're going to strengthen your skin barrier therefore make it more able to retain more moisture and not transepidermal water loss. And so truly you're going to see that your skin is going to become less and less dry with time. Now moving forward as to how to incorporate this in your skincare routine, I have to say, this is a moisturizer. Of course, I feel like y'all know by now how to use moisturizers. They're nothing new, nothing changed. Truly, moisturizers go well and they pair well with everything, just like ketchup. I put ketchup in pasta, yes, even though I'm Italian, so don't you dare come for me. As you know, one of my many names is also the moisturizer queen because I invented the moisturizing topping technique, which is basically applying two or more moisturizers, one on top of the other, very small amounts, but still different moisturizers so to get the best of both worlds. So truly what I would do, since I'm a Mormon now, I've decided is I'm going to go first with the CeraVe moisturizer right here and then I'm gonna go in with another moisturizer of a thicker consistency like this one and this is especially great for dry skin types. So truly I feel like I'm not going to waste your time and there's nothing further that we should discuss about how to incorporate it in your skin routine. It is simple as a pimple. Of course, if you ask me the question, which is now a ritual, Mateo, would you be using this in your skin routine even though once this experiment is over. Yes, the answer to that is going to be yes, of course, ma'am, absolutely. And so truly, let me tell you where I bought it from. Let's say it together. Of course, I bought this online because in stores, and it's just dangerous on your way there, you can literally bump into anyone. The sun. You could bump into Trump if you're in America. You could bump into Queen Elizabeth if you are in the UK. Are you kidding me? Do you really want to try those odds and get those chances? I personally would not. So actually, let's not kid ourselves here, I'm going to recommend you the big bottle of this because it's really worth it in my opinion. And that is going to run you 1327 Royal British Pounds for 100 ml. And something like that, in my experience, will honestly last you a month. So actually, you know that your girl always got you covered. So I actually found the cheapest flawless thing that I could find on Amazon US and Amazon UK. I linked it down below in the pinned comments for you to go buy it. So literally, if you want this, then all you gotta do is click that link. But anyways, child, if this was the first video that you saw me, then maybe might I interest you into joining the random family because actually we're all about so what you gotta do by the way is subscribe and turn the bell icon so you don't miss any of my uploads because this let me tell you we are all about fighting acne as simple as a pimple and we also like to fight anti-aging and wrinkles because truly aging is worse than dying so if you're struggling with your skin routine or just want to be entertained I would love to have you part of the Renner family so honestly join Mwah. furthermore if you want to see a little bit more behind the scene more skincare that you're not gonna see over here and deepen the bond that we have what you can do is follow me right here on Instagram and on TikTok, both at my Ramden, and literally you can see me 24-7 on all social media apps, and which is truly your dream, I know. And furthermore, if you have any issues with your skin, do not hesitate to DM me, I will love to help you out. And to my randoms who are still watching, you know what time of the video is now, it's going to be the Italian word of the video. And since this video was all about this, the ordinary, 
amazing natural moisturizing factors and also I started the end of this video with listing the 12 cliche breakup lines then the Italian word of the whole video is going to be cliche which is cliche in English but now that I'm thinking about it I was going to say the cliche was Italian but it really does not sound Italian it actually is French so scrap that so today is going to be the French word of the video so there's one word that y'all didn't copy from us Italians or Latins and ancient Romans but y'all copied from the French there we go yet still you have absolutely no creativity at all all you do is just like art and architecture is steal from the European does that sound like something you want yes well, let me tell you, you'll never get it. I'm so sorry. I don't want to be dragged by the Americans or the British, okay? Like, I'm one of y'all. I live in the UK. You can see by my accent that I'm basically American, so I'm kind of like a mix. I'm, honestly, like, I'm not even Italian at this point. Who, what is Italy? <laughs> but man, what I need to do is not click out of this video, even though, yes, it is ending, and even though, yes, you might be offended right now. What you're gonna do is, first of all, forgive me, and second of all, click these two videos right here because you're just gonna be as informative, as entertaining, whatever this video was for you. Also offensive, baby. <laughs> and while you're in that room, Remember to be random and always be random. <laughs> no, sir, v, I swear I'm not cheating on you on anyone. There's nobody else. It's just like I'm not ready, okay? Child, while I'm lying, you need to click. Sarah v, I swear, like I, there's nobody. 